There's no doubt that you've seen these quirky creatures all over the internet. The axolotl, Ambostoma mexicanum, is a unique aquatic salamander with some distinct biological quirks. Some owners view them as reptiles while others lump them in with fish. The truth is, axolotls are amphibians. Technically speaking, these creatures are salamanders. However, unlike other salamander species, they never truly go through that metamorphosis process to become land dwellers. As a result, axolotls spend their entire lives in the water. Even with their fully formed legs, these aquatic creatures don't need land access at all. Axolotls are only found in Mexico. They're often referred to as Mexican walking fish. Unfortunately, these animals have become critically endangered in the wild. They are available in the aquarist trade, but it's rare to see them being sold in stores. If you do manage to get your hands on an axolotl, you'll be happy to know that caring for these critters isn't too complicated at all. On average, the average lifespan of an axolotl in captivity is around 10 years. There is a chance that the salamander will live longer though. In fact, some owners have reported lifespans of up to 20 years. However, this is quite rare. Axolotls are highly sought after because of their unique looks. The shape of the axolotl is like a cross between a fully formed salamander and a tadpole. They have long slender bodies complete with four thin legs. However, their tail is still equipped to be a very effective swimming fin. It's relatively thin, creating a nice taper starting behind the rear legs. The expansive fins on the top and bottom of the tail actually make it look much bigger though. The head of the axolotl is pretty interesting as well. These creatures have wide heads with small black eyes. Unlike other salamanders, axolotls don't have eyelids or protruding eyes. Thus, their eyes are open all the time. When you combine this with their smiling face, you have quite the cute creature. Perhaps the most defining feature of the axolotl is the gills. The gills aren't located on the sides of the body like they are with fish. Instead, they are located on protruding crown-like appendages that branch out from the head. Called rami, there are usually six appendages in total. They are positioned to the rear of the head, creating a very interesting look for the creature. Each appendage is covered in tiny gill filaments. When it comes to color, there's a lot of variety. This is especially true in the aquarium trade. Wild axolotls typically take on shades of gray, brown, and green. They're mottled, which helps the creature blend in with their surroundings. There are several color variations available. You can get a copper axolotl, which has an orange hue with bright red gills. Then, there's the melanoid black axolotl with its black skin and dark gills. One of the most widespread morphs in the trade is the leucistic axolotl. It's an albino variant with pinkish white skin and bright red gills. The average size of an axolotl is about 10 inches in length when fully grown. Some specimens will get up to 12 inches, but it's not very common for specimens raised in captivity. It's been observed that axolotls can get much larger in the wild. There's something about being kept in captivity that tends to put a lower ceiling on their potential size. As we mentioned earlier, axolotl care isn't too difficult as long as you understand their basic needs. For the most part, these creatures are hardy and unfussy. Of course, there are still some strict care guidelines you need to follow. There's no denying that axolotls are a unique pet. While they don't have too many issues in captivity, you must provide the essentials. This includes creating a good habitat and a high-quality diet. Axolotls have a colorful diet in the wild. They will eat snails, fish, and even other amphibians. In captivity, they do best on protein-rich foods like earthworms, bloodworms, and brine shrimp. It's best to avoid live food like feeder fish and mice. While they will readily accept those snacks, they could introduce parasites into the tank and make your axolotl sick. The best way to feed an axolotl is with long forceps or tweezers. Just place the food near the animal and they should have no problem seeing it and eating. Axolotls should be fed two or three times a week. 
This might seem a little unusual at first if you're used to a daily feeding schedule, but it's totally normal for these creatures. These creatures are honestly a complete joy to watch. They can also get quite active when they notice someone watching them. Many axolotls will swim around the tank and give you a little bit of a show. This is one of our favorite things about them. When they're not entertaining, axolotls are quite calm and relaxed. That is, however, unless they are kept with other creatures. Axolotls can actually get quite aggressive with fish and other animals in the tank. They have been known to attack and eat their tank mates. Axolotls should not be kept with any tank mates. This includes other axolotls. Some owners have seen success in keeping bonding pairs together, but you have to be very careful and keep a watchful eye on their behavior. These animals are known to fight among one another. Cannibalistic behavior is pretty common. You might see two axolotls fight and lose limbs. The good news is that axolotls have the ability to regenerate their limbs after injury. However, you should just avoid this issue altogether and keep them apart. Axolotls are solitary creatures that do just fine when they are alone. Despite what their appearance may lead you to believe, axolotls should not be removed from the water. In fact, they shouldn't be handled at all. Axolotls are very delicate. Most of their body is made up of cartilage rather than bone. As a result, they are prone to injuries. If you must remove them, exercise caution and use a fine mesh net. They can be tough to catch, but it's much safer to use a net than it is to use your hand. Place them in a separate water tank and don't leave them out of the water for any more than a few seconds. Thank you for watching. We hope you know a lot about axolotls.